shackled bones around all these thrones come screaming behind a wall of egos there is a hidden hero in us in us in all of us in any case those are the opening lyrics of vincent bueno's eurovision 2020 song alive he's asking what's in us but we want to know what's in him is there a big voice well we've had a listen and it's time to review and react are you ready <laughs> Let's, do Let's do this. to Vincent Bueno, my Pinoy friend. The Philippines is calling. He is an Austrian singer of Filipino descent, celebrating diversity. He's got a massive following in the Philippines. He's been on TV shows out there. He's also a known figure in Austria. I believe he won the search for the next big musical star in Austria, Das Musical, I believe it was called. Well, he is Das Musical Superstar. In any case, Angus, what do you think of his Eurovision song Alive and its very urban music video? So I have to be honest, I think it's the kind of Eurovision song that you really need the staging to understand kind of its potential because the song itself, it's not that impressive. You know, we've heard this kind of disco saxophone type led Bruno Marti song done before and done better bluntly. I mean, I think the strongest comparison is Laura Tesoro, What's the Pressure from Belgium? And even that in the studio cut sounded better and was more impressive because this I don't know it didn't throw me I think it would have sounded contemporary maybe two or three years ago now it sounds a little bit dated but that being said it has grown on me a lot since but the initial reaction wasn't great and wasn't impressive and the music video I don't like I mean that kind of everyone having a big old dance in the warehouse thing has been a little bit done I think and it's kind of been done to death um so I think he has a good voice I think the song, if they'd had big party staging a la Belgium 2016 and they'd opened the semi-final with a big bang and a performance, this could have come alive and gone into the final. The studio cut itself is not that impressive, I don't think. I actually don't mind the song. I've, I don't know, I've been a bit sort of swings and roundabouts with it. When, when I play it once, I quite like it and I'll jam out to it. I do find if I put it on repeat too much, then I'm a bit like, mm, okay, this is starting to sound a bit cheap. Um, but sort of just on a, on the occasional listen, I do I do rather enjoy it. Um, I like the funk vibe. Um, you know, I mean, Belgium 2016 that gets all the comparisons. That that was one of my favourites of that year. So um, obviously, this being you know, slightly less than that. It's not it's not up there. Um, but I, I can get behind it and I'm not sure where I've got this from, but when listening to the song, elements of it give me sort of vibes of the sort of song that a, sort of a newbie K-pop group might have on their album. Um, and as a K-pop fan, I, I can get on board with that. Um, yeah, that I... I think I'm probably going to be, you know, one of the more positive people about this. Um, I think this is more my sort of thing than a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's a solid effort. You know, when ORF have internally selected you and you're creating this song, I mean, before you press publish, there comes a point you need to ask yourself, is this really the best that Austria can do? Is this really the best that Austria can send? Is this song good enough to win? I mean, you know what? I mean, like, I'm just a little bit tired of mediocrity. I, I think that, you know, delegations and those putting out songs should really be thinking about trophy grabbing and not necessarily just kind of just, you know, just, just slipping by. And um, whilst, um, what's the song called? Alive? Alive, right? I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's an ambitious title as well. You know, and whilst it's not a bad song, it, it, there's nothing bad about it, you know? And it's just not great. And it's just not... It's okay. 
but okay is just not good enough. I mean, th- I think this is my issue. It's it's not bad, but it's not brilliant. So when I first listened to his Spotify back catalogue, I think there were three or four songs. I wasn't kind of blown away. I saw an artist in development, but there was clearly experimentation and he was trying different things and finding his feet, and I think that's great. But then I watched the music videos for some of his songs and I was like, wow, this is really good. So I think because he was in musical theater, or rather is in musical theater, the stage performance is very important to him. And he's able to elevate things using his creativity and his vision. And I think that's also happening here. This is the best song now in his catalog, I believe. There's a real progression here. And I think he will keep that momentum going into 2021. I don't mind the use of a warehouse. I think it's quite it's quite urban, quite hip. It came at a time we certainly needed some upbeat, feel-good songs at Eurovision, so I'm so glad he released this. I'm like a little matchbox. All I need is a little spark to light this whole world up. Prepare for fire shots, okay? He is ready to blow, to explode on that stage. Long story short, Yes, the song is not, you know, David Guetta level fierce. However, I like the way he's trending. I think that, you know, by next year, he could have that killer dance track. I do hope he stays in the dance upbeat genre. I personally am not a fan of this kind of soul, funk, soul, disco, whatever you call it. You know, I'm not into Bruno Mars, but I think this appeals to me. And so I could see it appealing to a lot of other people as well. I just... Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next chapter. He's going to not just be alive, he's going to stay alive going into Eurovision 2021. So I think there's a lot to be happy about here, even if this track isn't necessarily my go-to on the treadmill, on the elliptical, on the floor song. In any case, should we go around and give our scores out of 10, along with a justification, starting with Angus. I gave this a 4 out of 10. I find it very middling, to be honest. Um, I think live it's the kind of thing that would have massively elevated with good stadium arena staging, because that's what it needs behind its kind of lift. But on its own, yeah, it it feels very much like an assembly line cut from the warehouse, less than kind of a novel, distinctive kind of piece that I'm going to return to and revisit. And also, you know, in a few years' time, never mind like the end of voting distinctively remember who the song was by and what it was for so you know it's fine when it's on i'm not terribly impressed by it i gave this a six and a half out of ten i'll you know i'll happily jam out to it once or twice um i'm not gonna constantly put it on repeat um I, I don't think it was a dead cert qualifier by any means. I think there was definitely potential there, um, but I think it probably would have only snuck in like between eighth and tenth, and then come relatively low in the grand final. Um, yeah, there's there's promising elements here that I that I hope they continue for next year, and I'm I'm at least looking forward to to hearing what they send. You know. Unlike some songs, like, you know, some Austrian submissions over the years, I mean, Nathan Trent comes to mind, like, Running On Air, which, again, is fairly middle of the road. But that song calls for repeat spins because of its really inspirational message. I mean, certainly, Let There Be Light, the article which William wrote, you know, that was one of the songs that just leapt at you because it had, it, it holds that value of a song that you kind of tune into for sort of mental well-being. Um this alive, you know, it is so middle of the road. It sits on the road marking, driving in that lane, annoying every other driver. This is a five for me. It's a five. It's, it, yeah, it's a five. It is so average. It is so basic. Yes, it has all today's pop sounds, but at the same time, it is just the pastiche of that. I think Vincent Bueno can do better. And I'm so glad, moving forward, that he'll get an opportunity to kind of elevate because this just isn't, it's just not good enough. You know, you say middle of the road, I say artist on the road to the next level. He is taking a journey and I'm happy to be here on that journey. I can't wait to see what comes next. I think we need feel-good songs, you know, now more than ever. And this notion of being alive, of, you know, 
lighting that match, getting out there and slaying. You know what? I'm a slay during the pandemic. He's inspired me with a live. My score is also a five. Now, we of course are not the only wee wee bloggers. There are dozens of us all over the world. And when we take our overall global average, the score is 5.53. So we were all within touching distance, I'd say, of that score. Just as high. But you know what? Yeah. We need those high scores. We need that positivity. And I thank <laughs> you for it. I thank you for it. In any case, that's what we think. What do you, what do think? you think? Are you feeling alive listening to Vincent Bueno? Do you come alive? Let us know here on We We Vlogs. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. Um, in the comments down below, let us know what you think about Alive. And hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from We We Vlogs. Head over to weeweeblogs.com for more content and where the Wee Wee Jury review, re reviews come out first. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Jonathan, thank you for it. Thank you for it. <laughs> you are welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> come along. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>